Hello everyone and welcome to another video. This is one of those videos that I find from time to time that I started and never finished. So here's the finished version. Flora would like to introduce you to Simply Angel, who prefers to be known as Anderson James. How are you doing today? He said, I guess you're fine. You look pretty from your picture. Your photo has a beauty that I find in no other profile and it makes my heart stop beating. That's because I was looking at your photo. I'm quite fascinated by the pretty picture. You look charming and beautiful. My name is Anderson James. I'm from Italy, but currently living in Houston, Texas. I'll be waiting to read from you, lovely. Greetings. That's very kind of you, said Flora. I live in Malvern, in England. I'm truly honoured to read from you, he said. It's a pleasure to have you here. What do you do in Houston? asked Flora. I'm an engineer, he said. That'll be unusual. And I'm working in Scotland, North Sea, as a general contractor. OK, said Flora. You aren't in Houston. How long have you been in Scotland? Not up to a month now, he said. Where do you work? I haven't worked for years, said Flora. My ex-husband had an import business which did well, so I didn't have to work. That's really nice, he said. What do you do? asked Flora. You said ex-husband. That means you guys are separated. Or what happened, he asked. We're divorced, said Flora. What do you do? I'm a general contractor, he said. What does that mean? asked Flora. General contractor? Doing what? A civil engineering, he said. I have people working. Understand me? No, said Flora. What do you actually do? I'm an engineer, he said. This is going well, isn't it? I can see why this video never got finished. What kind of engineer? asked Flora. Why is it so hard to get you to tell me what you actually do? Civil engineering, he said. So, what do you actually do? asked Flora. Why is it so difficult to tell me what you actually do? What are you working on right now? We work on construction site, he said. This scammer really hadn't thought his story through, had he? Constructing what? asked Flora. Sometimes buildings, he said. OFGS, said Flora. What are you constructing? I don't even know what a sometimes building is. We work on oil platform petroleum, he said. OK, said Flora. You're constructing an oil platform. Yes, he said. I guess you construct them in a port or harbour and then float them out to sea said Flora. Yes, he said. So you're working in a port in Scotland? Which one? she asked. Solemvo Terminal, he said. Ah, oh, OK, said Flora. Sounds like a very specialised job. Yes, of course, he said. Do you have kids? I know the name, said Flora, but I don't know where in Scotland Solemvo is. I do, and so does Flora, but she thought she'd ask and see what he said. I have a grown-up daughter, she replied. It's in Shetland Council area, he said. I have a son, he's 13. Is he in Shetland with you, asked Flora. No, said Anderson. He's in a marine school. I do communicate with him. What's a marine school, asked Flora. Of course you communicate with him, he's your son. Yes, he said. What's a marine school, asked Flora. Sorry, I mean... Military boarding school in Rome. Oh, OK, said Flora. Why Rome? Because that's where I'm from, said our man with the very Italian name. Ah, oh, OK, said Flora. I've never been to Rome. Sounds like a really interesting place. Yeah, he said. So tell me, how old are you? I'm 76, said Flora. Wow! I'm 58, he said. You look younger than me age, and you're extremely beautiful. That's very kind of you, said Flora. Good morning to you, he said the next day. Hi, it's lovely and sunny here today, said Flora. Is it the same in Shetland? It really sunny here too, he said. Dear, if you don't mind, can we chat more on Hangout so we can exchange pictures? Because I'm really interested in spending more time with you. Why can't we chat here, asked Flora. I don't really stay much here, he said. And if the person that you're talking to on Facebook or Instagram or somewhere like that tries to tell you that they don't spend very much time on that platform and asks you to change to chat or hangouts or WhatsApp, there's a very high chance you're talking to a scammer 
Of course they spend time on the original platform. That's how they found you. They're just afraid their fake account will be deleted. You're here now, said Flora. You were here this morning. I want to be connected to you in all areas, he said, because I'm really interested in spending much time with you. Hello, beautiful, he said the next morning. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thanks, said Flora. You? I never stop thinking about you, and you're always on my mind, he said. That's very sweet of you, said Flora. Have you dated online before, he asked. Why is that any of your business, asked Flora. Have you dated online? Yes, I have, he said, but she was not truthful. But when I saw you, I had this sweet connection and gladness in my heart. I wish to be close to you in, guess what, love, trust and honesty. What are your likes? I like travelling, said Flora. What do you like? In fact, I'm thinking of taking a trip to Orkney or Shetland or even both. That's a very nice one, he said. I also like travelling. If I come to Shetland, said Flora, we could meet somewhere. I like to have fun, said our man, and I have a great sense of humour. I like a lot of things. Bright sun, good weather, sea and mountains. I like spending time with my family whenever I'm on vacation. I adore comfort and try to create it everywhere. Yes, for sure, he said. Where could we meet, asked Flora. Don't worry, he said. When you come over, we'll fix that. I might come at the end of next week, said Flora. I haven't booked anything, but I really fancy a change of scene before Easter. All right, dear, he said. What romantic name? Do you want me to call you? What's wrong with my name, said Flora. Your name is perfect, he said. How about I call you Babe? If you must, said Flora. Hope you aren't upset, he said. It just seems childish and silly, said Flora. How old are you? I'm 58, he said. And I think we've done this bit. OK, said Flora. I'm 76. Dear, he said. What about the email I asked of you the other day? What about it? said Flora. You said you don't come on here, but obviously you do. I only come here because of you, he said. That's OK. Here's mine, he said. You can add me up. And he gave her his email address. Why would I want to do that? asked Flora. We've agreed you're happy to talk to me here, haven't we? I just looked up flights. I think I'll fly up next Thursday and come home on Tuesday. That's the 7th to the 12th of April. Is that OK for you? We could meet for dinner one evening after you finish work. He gave her a corrected Gmail address and said, Dear, this is the correct one. But we've agreed you're coming on here to talk to me, said Flora. I don't need your email address. I will be closing the account soon, he said. I want to be connected to you in all areas. Why are you closing it? asked Flora. OK, that would be nice, he said. The disturbance here is too much. What does that mean? asked Flora. Some people will message me and said if I have heard of any programme that shares money. You know, those fake cryptocurrency investment and money flipping scams. Block them, said Flora, or ignore them. So many scammers on social media. It's awful, she said. Very awful, he said. I get lots of spam requests on Hangouts, replied Flora. That's why I prefer Facebook. Don't worry. OK, he said. It will be just you and me. Oh, said Flora, you have a magic solution for stopping me getting spam requests, do you? LOL, not really, he said. Have you given out your email to anyone before? he asked. What a stupid question, said Flora. How do you think people can email me if they don't have my email address? OK, he said. I really want us to be together on Hangout, so I won't get distracted by annoying messages. If you insist, said Flora, and gave him her email address. Thanks, honey, he said. And so, of course, they moved to Hangouts. Thanks for the email address, he said on Hangouts. And thanks for accepting me. Dear, can I get a picture of you? Flora thought she'd try that old trick that Denise always uses. If you send me your address, I'll post you one, she said. Which address do you want me to send you, he asked. Whichever one you want me to post them to, she replied. Post them here for me, please, he said. Your address in Shetland, she asked. They should get you before I fly up next week. I will talk to my company if I can allow my loved ones to come visit me. Don't be ridiculous, said Flora. Just get a taxi into town. There are hundreds of people working at Sullen Vaux. It's an oil terminal, not a prison. Yeah, 
I know, he said, but can I get the pictures now, please? Send me your address at the terminal and I'll post you some this afternoon, she said. Honey, don't worry, I'll be coming home soon, he said. What do you mean, coming home, asked Flora. I'll be going back to the state after my work and I will come meet you in England. But I'm coming up to meet you next week, said Flora. It's our company principal. I'm not sure if I'll be allowed to leave. You know every company has their own rules and regulations. Don't be daft, said Flora. You're in Scotland. You do what you want when you finish work for the day. Just get a taxi into town and I'll meet you there. All right, no problem, he said. We could meet for dinner one evening. Do you have to work at the weekend? Only on Saturdays, he said. We could meet on Saturdays, she said. Ask your colleagues to recommend a nice restaurant. All right, he said. But there's a little problem. Surprise. Why? asked Flora. I don't have cash on me. Our salary has been paid to our account at home. Use a card, said Flora. I don't mind buying you dinner when we meet. I lost my card, he said. That was careless, replied Flora. I'll buy dinner, don't worry about it. But everything we want here is being given to us. That's good, said Flora. I'll probably hire a car so I can come pick you up from the oil terminal. This is so exciting. I haven't visited Shetland for nearly 20 years. And it's more exciting, he said, because you're coming to meet the man who can't live without you. I'm more excited because we're meeting in person and I'll be looking into your eyes when I tell you I love you. There's no greater feeling than this. Oh my, said Flora. Yeah, I'm serious about it. Everything I've said to you, we seem to have an interesting conversation and our hope for our communication to lead to a fruitful end. Don't you wish so? We really have to meet, said Flora. OK, I don't need to see you before I feel something towards you. I judged you by the words that you say to me directly from your heart. And that's the most important thing to me because it touches the most tender part of my heart. Flora said a few more words directly from her heart. I'm just looking at flights, she said. I'll have to fly to Aberdeen and then on to Shetland. I'll come on Thursday evening. I'll hire a car and pick it up at the airport. I need to find a hotel. It will be so romantic when we're together, he said. I can't wait for that day to come. It's such a good feeling to realise that I have you in my life and I'm pleased as we chat with each other. Always. Flora hopped on booking.com and found a place and said, this place looks nice. And let's just interrupt this video for a small commercial break. I'm an affiliate for booking.com and I've left the link below this video. In fact, I leave it underneath a lot of videos, but I've never told you that I'm an affiliate for booking.com. So if you fancy a holiday, click on one of my links below. I'll just get a bit of commission if you book. It'll make me very happy and you'll get a nice holiday. Sounds like a win-win situation to me. And you don't pay any more for clicking on my affiliate link. Yeah, this place will be nice, he said. I've booked the flights, said Flora, and the hotel. I expect I'll be tired when I arrived on Thursday, so I'll just have a quiet evening on the hotel. Do you want to meet for dinner on Friday? Our man couldn't think of an answer. Every sunrise gives me a new day to love you. Good morning, sweetheart. Hope you have an amazing day. Good morning, said Flora. I've managed to hire a car, which I'll collect at the airport. How's your day going, he said. Very well, thanks, said Flora. How's yours going? My priority in life is to settle down with the right woman and share wonderful moments together and forever. And I see you as the right woman to me. What about you? What is your priority? Exactly the way you talk to someone you've just met online, obviously. My priority is enjoying life, said Flora. That good? What do you do for fun, he asked. I'm in the WI, she said. I do yoga. This was, I think, probably before I'd invented yogic chair dancing. What do you do for fun, she asked. My fun activities include camping, boat cruise, surfing, reading, dancing, travelling, swimming and spending time with children. I hope his DBS checked, otherwise he could find himself in jail. I normally visit the motherless baby homes every holidays to spend quality time with the orphanage children. Motherless baby homes where? asked Flora. In the US, he said. OK, said Flora. Tell me about some of the places you've travelled to. I haven't travelled much due to my work, he said. You told me that was one of your fun activities, said Flora. Was that a lie to impress me? Do you want to tell me what you really do for fun instead of a bullshit list that you think's impressive? 
Why do you think I'm saying bullshit, he said. You tell me what yours. I told you mine, said Flora. You told me travelling was one of your fun activities. Now you tell me you haven't travelled much, so clearly that was bullshit to impress me. And she highlighted the bit where he'd said, my fun activities includes travelling. Let me refresh your memory, she added, in case you've forgotten. So now tell me what you really do for fun, instead of making up stuff because you think it sounds impressive. Or go away and stop lying to me. Choice is yours. I didn't lie to you, he said. If you don't call that lying, said Flora, what do you call it? Bending the truth? Making up fairy tales? Telling porky pies? Exaggerating for effect? When I said travelling, it means I'm about going to work. And each time I go to work, I also travel. And it's fun to me. Then why on earth didn't you say that, said Flora. Dear, calm down, he said. You thought you'd try and sound impressive, said Flora. I don't like men that lie because they think it's clever. Apologise properly, like a man, or go away. All right, I'm sorry, he said. Good, replied Flora. Now tell me what you really do for fun, as in what you really do, not a made-up list to impress me, because you just failed miserably in the trying to impress a lady department. LOL, he said. Being an idiot isn't funny, replied Flora. I really love dancing and swimming, he said. OK, what kind of dancing do you do, she asked. And I love hanging out with my loved ones. Just a freestyle dance. OK, she said. Do you know you're amazing, he said. For spotting that you were lying to me, said Flora. That was obvious. No, not really about that, he said. R-O-F-L, said Flora. Seriously, he said. What do you think, said Flora. Nothing. That at least sounds honest, said Flora. It's what I would have guessed. You weren't thinking at all. Next time you want to talk to me, engage your brain first. I've heard all you've said, he said. Good, replied Flora. So what are you doing now, he asked. Avoiding all your bullshit, said Flora. I'm going out for the day now. I'll talk to you later. You sound upset. Hello, dear. How's your outing today? Hi. Hello, honey. Hi. Flora had decided to ignore him on Hangouts. Undaunted. A oh, man, hot back on Facebook. Dear, hope you're fine. Hello, honey. What happened? What happened? Said Flora, you lied to me. That's what happened. I don't like men that lie. Goodbye. How did I lie to you? He asked. Please talk to me. You didn't come online for days. And now you're saying I lied to you. Flora, by then, had decided to ghost him on both Hangouts and Facebook. And that was the end of Anderson James. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it. Please share it. Please comment down below. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you've never been to Shetland, you really should go. It's amazing.